Hi kids! In the last video, we learnt about fractions and its comparison. Now let's learn about addition and subtraction of fractions. First, let's do addition. Now kids, just look at this figure. One out of the five parts is shaded. Hence the fraction 1 by 5. If we add this to 2 by 5, what do you think will be the answer? We have to combine these two diagrams together and we will get this diagram where 3 parts out of 5 is shaded. So, Whenever the denominators are same, you have to add the numerators to get the answer. Now let's look at the next example. In the first picture, two boxes out of nine are shaded, hence the fraction two by nine. And in the second box, four out of nine parts are shaded and when we combine the blue and the pink part we get six boxes shaded out of nine and hence the fraction six by nine so what are we doing here we are adding the numerators four and two which is six and writing the denominator as it is, which is 9. Here, 2 by 6 is added to 3 by 6. Here also, children, the denominators are same. So, we will be adding the numerators in the diagram also and numerically also to get the answer as 5 by 6. Now, look at these solutions. If we get the question as 4 by 9 plus 1 by 9, we will add 4 and 1 and get the answer 5 by 9. Easy, isn't it? 5 by 10 is added to 4 by 10. So, you have to add 5 and 4 in the numerator and write 10 as the denominator. The answer will be 9 by 10. 3 by 7 plus 2 by 7. Here also the denominator is same, 7. So you will add 3 and 2 and write the denominator as it is. The answer will be 5 by 7. Now 4 by 6 plus 1 by 6. The denominator is same, 6. We will write that as it is and add the numerators. 4 plus 1 and the answer will be 5 by 6. Now children, it's your turn. You can pause the video and write down the answers. Now let's look at subtraction of fractions. Consider a pizza. In the first picture you can see only 3 sixths of pizza is left. Out of that 3 sixths if we take or if we eat one sixth, what we will get the answer as? Yes, when the denominator is same, we are going to subtract the numerators. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So the answer will be 2 by 6. Here also, 3 by 4 minus 2 by 4. In the first picture, 3 parts out of 4 are shaded. 
If we remove one shaded part, how many are left? Yes, one by four. Now look at these examples. Three by seven minus two by seven. So, when the denominators are same, we need to subtract three and two. Three minus two is one. The answer will be one by seven. Five by six minus three by six. We will subtract 5 and 3, which is 2, and write 6 as the denominator. 4 by 5 minus 1 by 5. So it will be equal to 4 minus 1 by 5, which is equal to 3 by 5. Now children, you can again pause the video and try these questions on your own. These questions are very easy and you can do it very efficiently. All the best!